welcome back in this video we are going to add drawer to our project so we want to display the drawer on a small screen so as you can see on a small screen it's not other responsive the texts are scrambled together so we want to display a drawer for small screen so let's get started but before we get started, let me show you the Material UI component you are going to use. So let's search for Material UI. Material UI and let's click on the first search result. And then here, let's search for Drawer. Cool. This is the drawer. And as you can see, we have this component right so if you click on the left you see that it opens on the left hand side if you click on the right top bottom as well so you can implement it how you want it so let's look at the code how it looks like so like i said on the first glance it looks a little bit scary so let me show you how i'm going to implement it in a simple way so let's get back to code there you go all right, so let's go to SRC component. And for the component, we created this component, sorry, drawer component, but there's nothing in. So let's scaffold our component, RAFCE snippet, and I have my React component. Cool. So for this, we need a couple of um, components we need from Material UI. So to make our life easier, I'm going to copy from here and paste it here and then you can pause the video and then bring in all these components right so let me go over again so we have the drawer moving the parent and then the list is going to be the wrapper around all the list we are going to display in the drawer and we have the list item text and the list item and we have mixed styles all these are coming from material ui core right and we have material sorry list item icon is also from core so let's bring this one here because they are all from the same source all right so let me remove this one and we have these icons because this you cannot destructure this training app icon because they are coming from different packages this is from material ui slash core and slash icons cool so i have the training app icon local movies and movie filter as we see in the final one so sorry in our project this one all right cool so let's get going right so in between my component here let's return the drawer as the wrapper so you have the wrapper here as the drawer and in between the drawer we have all the list right so the list here if you search for the list from material UI, you can see how the list looks like. Cool. So now I have the list as the parent and inside the list, let's add the list item icon, right? Because we want to what we also want to display the icons. So in between here, we can add any icons we want. So for the first one, let's add local movie icons, local movies icon and which is this one this icon so like i said you can check these icons from the material ui website so like i showed you in a previous video okay wow well, now we have the list and we have the list item icon right but before before we bring in the list the list item icon we need to drop everything inside our list list item right so after this let's cut this one and then let's bring in the list item first like that and then let's paste in that cool so as you can see that for each of the list we have one item here called list item which is this right so we can duplicate this once many times that is three times right but for the meantime let's leave it in this way and let's try to render this component where can we display the component so let me bring it here like that we want to display the component as a part of the navbar so let's head over to the navbar component and then let's require the component here 
all right so let's import drawer component let me check if i have the auto import okay the auto import is working for me mine has been imported here nicely so where am i going to render this component well i want to place it beneath all this upper so let's add some react fragment and then below here as my the fragment and then let's render let's comment here and say drawer like that and here let's add the drawer component so let's save it and let's check our project there's nothing you see nothing because we we have to tell the component to open so we have to pass in one prop let's go to the drawer component here and for the drawer we are going to pass in a prop called open so we, all this prop can be found on the material ui website and if you pass in true it means that you are telling the drawer to open check it out there you go see the icon that we place in here we have this movie icon right so we have to do it in the same way that we can toggle when you click anywhere on the page and if you want to close it you have to pass in another prop called on close okay so on close so like i said all these things are from where from the material ui the props you can pass in so on close let's pass in false so when you click outside let's and when you click outside there's no way we can close it right so we're going to do it programmatically to close it but now we know that we have our icon being displayed here next is we can add our text right so before this is a list item icon and this is a list item so let's add our text here and this text is from where list item text list item text like that and to be able to display a value provide a primary and then you provide the, the name you want to display movies let me call this one movies check it out there you go we have movies so by default it opens on the left hand side if you want to open it at the top or the bottom all what you need is you have to pass in a prop called anchor right anchor and it's anchor whether left bottom or text or right so let's pass in bottom here and check it out it has open here if you pass in top it's open at the top if you pass in right it's gonna open from where from the right there you go but this is where i want to place but you can place whatever you want okay now cool now that we have this we can copy this list item three times so one two and three so check it out we have all the three so let's change the icons to the respective icon so the next icon here this is a local movie icon and this one let's change this one to movie filter icon all from above right and then the last icon here is gonna be um sorry this will be trending icon the trending icon trending icon and this one the last icon gonna be the uh, movie filter so this one gonna be movie filter icon check it out and let's see what we have there we go okay cool so we need to start a little bit let's start based on our uh, our default styling so how can we style uh drawer you know the way we start material you are composed sometimes it a little bit scary but trust me if you are familiar with it or the more you practice the more you become confident with it so let's start to style this component right so we have make make styles and then so let's create an instance of the class so let's say const and then let's call this one use style the you can give it whatever you want and let's take it for make styles right make styles and this you pass in a function as a callback and you have access to the theme inside and then this it returns an object like that and here you can pass in so let's add one property called drawer right and drawer let's add a background color a background color and remember we can tap in and get that color that we use in the theme right here if you check it out here utils theme we added our own color called drawer right 
so we can have we can access this one inside that component so here on the theme we have what is called dot palette you saw that in the customization part of this uh, project and with palette we have what is called common right and there we added what is called drawer cool so now let's use this uh, uh, style so inside the component let's assign this function to class to classes equal to use styles as that and then you can apply these styles on the drawer right so on the drawer you need to pass in a class name but let me show you some more things about material you are you know most of the components are derived from other components most of the components are derived from where paper component so to be able to know how you can start a certain component all what you need to do you need to do is uh, scroll down when you scroll down here you have the api session then click on that and then if you scroll down you see the props the way we can start is from using classes right cool and then if you come to css class name it is derived from where from paper right so you're going to first of all trace or apply the class name from paper and the paper will descend it down to the drawer right so you're not going to use a class name but instead you're going to use what is called classes as it stated here in the drawer api section so let's go here and then let's add a class name right so let's add the classes so classes is equal to that and then classes the instance of the class that we created which is different from this classes dot drawer if you save it and let's check it out what we have let's pick application let's refresh it okay it didn't appear sorry so like i told you we need to first trace the paper component right so let's cut this and first of all let's bring another carabase here and then let's first, first of all let's tackle the paper component right and in there we can add our classes dot drawer and let's save it let's see what we have there we go you see we have this drawer cool now let's also style the color right so let's provide a link and then for this link let's see the color is supposed to be we can use white here and then let's also start the icon so let's also add some icon class name to it and say the color of the icon is supposed to be yellow right cool so now let's apply this colors name to the list icon so the under list here let's add class name is equal to sorry object and classes dot link right and let's check it out what we have there we go let's also style the icons right and for the icons too we are going to add all the class names to the icons so this icon one gonna be the class name is equal to that and classes dot icon and then let's copy this class name and paste it on all the icons we have and there we go save it check it out there we go it's class the former one okay cool but there's no way we can toggle <laughs> we can toggle this one the what do you call it the drawer to open on certain on set certain um breakpoints so how can we do that so we're going to we have, we, have, we have to create a function right create a function to toggle that but we are calling the drawer inside this app component number component so we need to pass that one as a prop right from the number so here we can create um a state call this one let's bring in use state here I think I have the auto import above. There we go. Where is it? You see, let me bring the React import above here. Oh, here we can bring in here as what well. you see. All right. Then in, inside my component uh, here, let me label this one CSS, and the next one my you state. So let's call this one this you state use state here, and then let me call this one open drawer open drawer and then set open drawer so by default by default is true okay by default is true so 
Next is we need to pass this one as prop to the drawer component. So let's pass in open drawer as a prop and then set open drawer. Also, I add a function to the chart component. So set open drawer as that. So here, inside the drawer component here, we can destructure that and get all those here. So open drawer, open drawer component, open drawer, and set open drawer like that. Okay, cool. Now we have the function. So here, if you pass the open drawer by default, it's true. So let's remove this one here inside the open and provide it as open as that. And then for the unclose, what is unclose here, we have to also pass in <coughs> the unclose. So as an anonymous function here, and then I say set open drawer and pass in false. All right, so with this, let's check it out. So here, when I click, you see it goes. When I refresh application, it comes. When I click, it goes. So now we need to we need to find a way to trigger to click on this icon here, and then to be able to close or open. All right. So now let's also pass in that. Let's pass in the function to this um, button here. So how can we trace that? So let's go to the nav navbar component. And where do we have the menu button? This one, right? Where is the button here? Let me see. Yeah, the menu icon button here. All right. So the class name is Open Drawer. Yeah, here. Okay. So cool. So we can also pass in some cursor pointer so that we see that it's a it's pointing. Let's say cursor uh, and say pointer, right? Cool. So let's see when I move my mouse there, you see that it's point to be like hover like clickable object. Okay, now cool. So let's pass that function to this. So on menu icon, let's say on click. On on click, I want to open. Okay. So on click, I have to say I have to call the set open drawer, right? So set open drawer and there we go check it out when i click on that it comes when i click outside it goes click it comes click outside it goes all right so now our um what do you call it um navbar is working but we need to tell the navbar to display on a certain breakpoint that is what you call a responsive design so when we first the application the next video are going to implement the responsive design which means that when I reduce the screen size so of this project, as you can see here, when I reduce it, you can see that you want to remove or take away this icon, this text here, and then display the now the drawer. So that is what we're going to do in the next video.